Hello everyone, so we're gonna keep going on the uh, bank reconciliations and payment reconciliations. I was actually clicking around the system and I went into some payment reconciliation form. I remember going in there a long time ago, but uh, it's definitely been improved. And now that you, when you hook up the uh, bank account or the credit card statement to the payment reconciliation form, it's really easy to reconcile your transactions. And the system is sort of intelligent. It tries to find matches on the amounts, on the customer, and even on the text. Uh, so like, for example, if the text contains American Airlines, that should be coded to travel. Um, so take a look, uh, it's, it's short, but it's really sweet. So as we continue on bank reconciliations in Business Central, uh, I was clicking around and I came upon this payments thing here. You can see we have something called unprocessed payments. Um, if I click on that, we get into this screen here, which I find to be really, really nice. Really like this screen. And you're going to see in a minute how that works. If I'm importing bank transactions, it's similar from American Express. Uh, I'm just going to take one day. Uh, the fourth. So we don't have too many transactions. And I hit OK on that. It's going to pull in all the transactions for the fourth uh, from American Express. And here I can get all kinds of expenses, uh, which are, you know, just have these descriptions. And for example, Uber uh, should be categorized to a particular account. And what I want to do is have all of the transactions for Uber or that have Uber in it go to the same account. So all I can, all I have to do is come in here and hit map text to account. And it gives me the entire uh, text, but I'm only going to take the first part. So let me just delete this one because that's my test. Uh, first part like that so anything that starts with uber i want that to go to a particular gl account called let's just put it to office expense like so and now when i hit close it processes all of the transactions that have uber in the beginning and puts them to office supply expense and so I can just keep doing that with all kinds of transactions in here so that most of the things uh, when I'm importing get automatically mapped. And then when I'm done with that, I can just go ahead and post and I can post these payments. So they become payments uh, on the bank account and they're also reconciled. So I don't have to do a whole bank reconciliation for this because it's already reconciled at the bank account. So this screen has taken care of all of that in one. Uh, and I can, of course, uh, map it to a customer. I can map it to a particular document for the customer. It tells me here whether the matching is high or not high. Uh, so it's, it's a really, really good screen to do the imports of your bank account transactions and the credit card transactions and reconcile in one. So it's even better <laughs> than the one that I did before in previous video. So I highly recommend using this screen.